Have you ever wondered how engineers analyze and communicate complex information? Whether it's understanding the properties of material or optimizing designs, we rely heavily on graphs to reveal patterns and relationships within data. Today we are going to explore how to take raw data like densities of different material mixtures and turn it into a clear, easy to read graph. This skill is essential for making informed decision and conveying technical information effectively in civil engineering and beyond. In this lecture, we will be going to step by step to draw this graph. Here you can see the sample of the this raw data into the technical information in which engineers know that how mix 1 and mix 4, mix 3 and others uh, comparatively varies. So here you can see the, uh, the uh, transformation of this raw data into this graph. So in this lecture, we will be drawing this graph from this raw data. So without further delay, let's get started. So the first step is to go to the insert tab and select the chart menu. And here you have different options. So choose one of your choice. I'm selecting this. So for the draw, uh, drawing the graph. So right clicking on this graph. So here you can see different option. Select the data. Uh, points so here you can uh, choose the data uh, add the data so uh, give it the name of the series if you want here i didn't want so i don't do this step so here you can see the series x value and y values so and x values i am uh, providing the x uh, axis values here this is the x axis value and this is y axis value so i am uh, doing this that this is these are the x values i am inserting this in x series so in y series you can show the see the series y values i am inserting these density values which are the y axis values so here you can see these i am clicking on ok here also click on ok so here we have this uh, the raw graph of this raw data so now i am going to change in it into the uh, the in the form of the column i need in the form of the column bars uh, type graph for this i am click uh, right clicking on the graph and change the chart type so i am uh, selecting design pie bars area map stock surface and uh, histogram also here i am selecting this in this format column column format so in column you have these options so i am selecting the first option and clicking on ok so here we uh, see the uh, modify form of the graph uh, here you can see the proper x values and y values in an x axis value we have mix 1 2 3 up to 4 so as uh, delete i don't want to give the chart name chart title i am deleting this uh, so i have this so we have uh, for this i am uh, going to uh, change the style option uh, font size 11 or 12 so time new roman so it's that what you they provide the font size normally we will provide the 11 time new roman and color black here also give it the 11 uh, font size and uh, the time new roman and color is black for this now we draw the graph we need that if uh, uh, this is the density and this is the sample so i am give, giving the title axis title so for this i am going to select this plus sign and here you can see the axis title and axis title give it a uh, name to the axis x axis value is the uh, sample s a m p l e sample and you can also change the color here go to the home color black and time new roman uh, font size is 12 so here also give the uh, uh, axis y axis title which is density with the specified denote that is kilogram per cubic meter so we provided the uh, y axis value uh, title and with proper unit it is uh 12 also time new roman and color should be black 
so we are draw the simplified version of the graph you can see that we draw and center it so now what i am going to do i uh, will exclude the y grid lines y axis grid line because we need the x axis uh, horizontal grid line to compare that what is the value of this bar this bar and this bar so we will be matching this in this pattern that in line pattern which is the horizontal for this i am uh, going to um, go on the plus sign and here you can see the grid lines so in grid lines uh, remove the uh, vertical line and also provide the minor horizontal line also here you can see this simple now the major step is that click on the uh, graph and you can see this outline so if you see this outline is selected uh, right click on this and remove the outline to the no outline this is the very important step so here you can see that no outline is appear now in this select this uh, the second outline second the graph outline so right click on right click on this you can see the outline option and give it the outline here not the uh, major outline this is the minor outline you can see that so we provided the outline here uh, change right click on this x axis and change the outline it should be in black here also it should be in black the outline now i am changing this data going to the format axis in format axis you can see this option this is up to 1800 so i am starting this values these are two um, uh, the diversified values so congested values so i am going to do uh, start with the 400 0 400 and here you can see this uh, 0 400 800 up to 20 100 so i am selecting go to the up to only 1800 it is just modification that and here you can see this uh, is now in minus so for minus go to this uh, minimum value and give it zero here you can see this modify now the main important is give it the uh, mark mark on this uh, axis and this axis for this right uh, left click and then right click and go to the format axis and format axis scroll down you can see the tick marks in tick marks uh, select this major type is outside so it should be appear outside you can see this uh, tick marks so mm, give it here for the mix one two on x axis value also uh, first uh, left click and then right click go to the format scroll down go to the tick mark and here give the minor types value minor not major so minor and it should be outside so here you can see the uh, these tick marks so give it the color black so for this uh, left click go to the outline sorry left click go to the outline and select this black color so here you can see that but uh, unfortunately we have the uh, the major outline is color black so give it the uh, no outline so you can see the modified graph which uh, which is widely used in thesis that in, uh, in thesis how the graph should be made so here you can see this graph which is the modified form of the graph so we draw this graph and you can see that this is the modified graphs that is a uh, uh, copy and paste it on your thesis as for your requirement this is the relation between this raw data which is transformed into the uh, useful information uh, by uh, graph which is widely used in the thesis this is the right format that you should provide the uh, the tick marks properly font size uh, axis title no chart uh, title and the no outline this is the modified format also uh, remember the grid lines are also important so this is the today's lecture regarded uh, to the regarding with the uh, 
uh, data types into the formal graphs so thanks to everyone